Hi friends, this is Shrekas Srinivasan, Managing Director, LO Solutions Private Limited and CEO LokeTV.net, a trainer and .NET architect. Many ASP.NET developers asking how do we improvise the performance of a web application when we are trying to use huge data. By default, whenever we work with the data in ASP.NET, view state stores that information and it will be used while posting the data back to the server when the data is maintained on the view state as the view state information is maintained within an html hidden field which loads every time the page is loaded on the browser if the view state information is going to be huge naturally the performance of the application decreases and hence many developers are having issues how to handle the view state so in this particular video we will try to understand how to maintain the view state information instead of at the client side we would like to maintain at the server side and how we can improvise the performance of a ASP.NET website. Let's try to start practically understanding the problem and also how we can able to resolve this particular problem. Let's start the demo. Let's try to open Visual Studio.NET file menu new website. Let me provide some name performance demo now first let's try to understand what is the problem with the traditional application development with a simple example and understand what is the problem that is created by the view state so let me just try to add a new web form I select the web form I say add now let me place a grid view control on the form so from the data tab I am trying to place a grid view control and let me just write a, write a simple code and let's us examine what is the problem with the view state to understand this what I try to do was within the page load I try to create an object for the array list and let me just try to write a simple for loop which iterates for thousand times and I try to add the value of i to my array list I'm just converting a string and adding it to the array list and that information I wanted to provide as a source for the grid view control so I say grid view one data source equal to the array list object grid view one dot data bind now let me just try to execute this page and let's understand the problem with this page now once I try to execute it I am able to see a values which is from 0 to 999 in order to generate it if I just try to view the source code of this I see that there is a huge content has been added which we call it as the view state so this particular content is almost three-fourth of my page itself with such a huge data whenever a web form is going to have a view state with such a huge data and if this data is going to be loaded every time the page is requested the performance of the application will decrease by default 
the view state information is encrypted and also it maintains some hash so that any kind of anti forgery attacks will be prevented and this entire data which is as a name and value pair which is into encrypted format the hash everything will be stored as a hidden field and every time the page is requested this entire data is going to be loaded as a result performance of the web page decreases now let's try to understand what we have to do in order to make this particular web form to load faster and improvise the performance of our application one of the solution what we used to do when we used to work with asp.net 1.x we used to store the session data or view state information into a session object and we used to work with from asp.net 2.0 onwards they introduced a very very powerful concept called as page adapters where page adapters provides the base functionality for maintaining asp.net view state information persistently at the server side now let's try to understand how do we maintain the view state information which is stored on the client side to pass it on to the server and improvise the performance of your application to do that we have to first prepare a class which has to inherit the page adapter we know that whenever you wanted to write a class definition within asp.net the best place is in app code so i open my asp.net folder i just select app code within the app code i add a new item i select a class template provide some meaningful name for the class for example i give it as server side view state adapter that's the name i provided so that i get a idea that this is a view state information which will be maintained on the server side with the support of page adapter class once i added this particular definition we have to write a simple class which has to inherit the page adapters so i just simply specify remove all the comments which is there so that the code looks neat and clean i also remove all the unnecessary using statements for your clarity i like always to keep system so i just kept it this is a normal class now what i do is i try to inherit a class with the name called this page adapter page adapter is a class which is available under system.web.ui.adapters i just try to inherit this and once i try to inherit this i have to override a method which is present within the page adapter so let me try to override the method the method which i wanted to override is going to be get state persister so what is the functionality of get state persister means let's try to observe it get state persister is used for providing the view state information to the controls now what i do is i simply specify return new session page state persister where this is a class which is available under system.web.ui i try to specify this and i pass this dot page
so we have a simple method which is going to maintain the ASP.NET page so this particular thing what it will do was session page state persister it takes the responsibility of storing ASP.NET page view state on the web server once we define this particular class which is inheriting the page adapter now if any particular client sends a request then we have to take the support of this for achieving that what we do was I try to add a new folder with a name called as app underscore browsers where I would like to write a browser file so that an instruction is provided for us I just try to add a new item and I select a browser file so whenever you wanted to provide any kind of browser definitions we take the support of this I would like to provide a meaningful name for example view state adapter dot browser that's the name I provided for the browser file once I add this file you will find some kind of predefined instructions present for the browser I don't need all this stuff so what I try to do is let me select everything let me just remove it off let me try to add the new browsers definition according to our requirement so I simply specified browsers where I say browser and I provide a reference ID which I set it as default I try to configure the control adapters in order to configure the control adapters I simply say adapter control type equal to I'm going to configure it for system.web.ui.page and the configuration for this particular page will be mentioned in an adapter type which is nothing but the name of our class which inherits page adapter that's our server side view state adapter I specify the adapter information here so we are just trying to add a simple browser details now once I have this information written let me once again execute this page I get the same output I just try to see the source of this page now I find a whole lot of difference earlier you could have observed it the view state information was huge but now you can just observe it the view state information has been reduced less than a single line this particular methodology helps in maintaining the view state and also improves the performance of the application this video I guess it has provided a clear idea for you to improvise the performance of your ASP.NET web applications I hope you have enjoyed this session as much as I enjoyed this video by preparing information to be given you can contact me anytime to the scrolling email IDs or you can subscribe my YouTube or you can add me in your Facebook thank you happy programming